Hey everybody, welcome back to Starbase and uh, yeah, today we're not going to work on the fighter ship kind of thing um, because there's like a patch or something that's or an, an update that's going to come soon. I don't know when that will be, but it should be, uh, I really don't know. Um, but I was been told, I was been told that I should refrain from making any fighter ships or anything um, due to the fact that I think it's heat mechanics or something. I don't know really but um yeah it's gonna affect the ship we're trying to make so instead what i was gonna do or what we are gonna do is we are going to do some yolo tutorials and um yeah i just decided like uh while we're waiting while we're waiting let's go ahead and make a new ship well not, we're not gonna make a ship you know we, we're just gonna work on stuffs like uh um how yolo works how i use or figure out how my YOLO code is going to look like. Now, for those who do programming, my go-to things, my, the, like, what I like to use is if statements. Um, those who do programming will know exactly what it means. Uh, for those who are not very fluent in programming or don't understand it at all, but want to take a crack at it, um, if statements are basically, if I press a button, then something help happens otherwise something else happens easy as that and um yeah i think uh i wanted to give you guys an idea of what it is but um but before we like today's video what it's going to be about is just an introduction to what you need to understand with yolo um obviously if we quickly go to devices yolo um you get your basic chip advanced and professional and uh, just to showcase, like, there's a lot of things you can do with your LOL, okay? If you have a, a like, for instance, this uh, professional your LOL chip, if you're, like, advanced in mathematics and whatnot, trigonometry is, uh, like, doable in this. And uh, this, like, I think the, the, the amount of things you can do with your LOL in this game is immense. It is something really you can do a lot really you can do a lot i mean people have um i think it was during the closed alpha or something um people figured out a whole freaking gpa system i mean come on that that's gotta say something just by the codes um of your lol you know just using that and uh but i think it was like because there was different stations and things to ping off um but yeah anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this um chip socket Come on, turn. Turn better. Okay, we're going to use this. And we are going to use just a basic Yolo chip. And uh, I think if we... Just want to get it to turn properly. Like that. Okay, it is upside down. So I just quickly want to pull this off. Um, so, just going to... Can you maybe not be stupid? Thanks. Uh, what I'm going to do is we are going to grab a plate... And you guys can follow at home, you know, follow along if you wish. Um, but this is just to give you guys an idea on how everything works. Um, so we're just going to take you. Plop you there. I think that is... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, why don't we see if we can add... Yeah, we will put you in a corner because if we... Uh, corners get snapped. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to use this basic plate for, like, like a drawing board, for instance. But before we continue on, this first episode, we're just gonna, I'm just going to like show you guys how YOLO um, manipulates objects, um, or to be more precise, their properties. Uh, for instance, if we quickly take a look at a... Uh, where is a button? Let's just say button. Okay. And uh, we choose a hybrid button. There we go. And I'm just going to... Hmm, before we do that, I have to do this. Um, devices. Controls. And then just a control table. I'm just going to plop you here. And... Huh. Should have properly, probably prepared for this a little bit better, right? 
right yeah but i want to show you guys like how um things can be used properly um i think that will work i mean it doesn't really matter does it go and let's just do this yes just gonna go ahead and plop that in there okay that is fine um and then just okay we're not gonna use the cable just yet all right so what i want to do is i want to go ahead also get a battery going because otherwise i don't think things will work without a battery um power and small rechargeable battery and i think this should be fine and we can also tell you to get bolted on that okay <clears throat> so um yeah what i want to do is i want to take a button devices controls and a hybrid button hybrid buttons are basically just um where the hell there it, there it is it's just um small uh buttons or just not small buttons they're like large buttons but they have multiple things on them um what i can quickly do as well is just to get this rocking and rolling it's not going to be beautiful and i sometimes hate the controls but what can you do okay um there we go great stuff and let's just get it bolted i should really really learn the shortcut keys for all these um that and let's go ahead and grab lamps just a normal lamp like this okay and then do you fit in there yes and then we just take you and do that and bob is now your uncle okay and what i'm gonna do is it's just gonna do this there we go all right <laughs> now that we got everything set up this is uh, basically what i want to show you guys um before we jump into the whole your little thing um you can actually quote unquote program things to work on their own uh without actually having your code now the way to do this um as we can see a button if you click on it you have these data fields and whatnot um, this is basically the properties and these fields are manipulatable okay um, so button state over here this is the field name okay this is called a field and this is its um, manipulative or changeable or editable value okay so in order to let's say for instance if i press this button then i want this light to switch on okay not the base the base doesn't have anything that can be changed okay but as soon as you click on the um the lamp itself you can see the lamp on that is actually a name you can change so let's go ahead and just change the name we just take away we just call it lamp okay i click away or like i when i change something as soon as i done that i just click somewhere in the openness not on something just like any open just to deselect okay so we can see zero um zero is off and one is on okay now it's always been like this in anything computers programming uh data whatever zero will always mean nothing and one will always mean on or yes or whatever that's why you get zeros and ones as a binary language all that kind of jazz and if you haven't noticed he's a little bit of a cool little thing um a little bit uh, of a tip you know the power button like a, on your like a, an any pc or device or anything that that symbol you see like it looks like a zero with a one in it yeah that's what it is it's a zero and a one it means off and on that's a universal symbol for on and off and that is why zero is off and one is on okay so to showcase just how you can program without using yolol at all 
okay, is we want to press this button so that this light turns on. So this button, it's got button state over here. And it has a value of zero. Okay. Now, button on state value. Okay. It's uh, when button on, when it's on, when, it, when it's like pressed in. Okay. It becomes on. And then it will get the value of one and off if it's switched. If we, if we press the, okay, let me show it like this. If I press this, okay, that is on, that is off. You know, like a, like a light switch, you know, that's on, that's off. Just to give you guys an idea. So the on value will be one. So when we press that button to be on, it literally changes that value to one. I think I can properly showcase it this way. Um data is it here we go if i press this button as we can see it switches on look at this value over here okay if i press that button it goes on if i release it it goes off so now with that in mind that in mind how can we tell this button listen switch on this lamp this this light over here very very easy to do that now this name every, these things can be changed as well the names and everything can be changed um but i would highly suggest not changing them just for like keep it simple you know like keep, keep it on default but what you can do is this lamp that name lamp i'm going to control c control copy and over here i'm going to say Control V. You can also go ahead and type that name in here as well. And as we can see on the text of the button, it changed to lamp. All right. So basically what happens now is that this button is literally linked to this light now. And that is sort of like the programming. I'm just kind of what I'm trying to showcase here is that these are values that can be changed. Okay, the names can be changed to suit your needs. Um, the values can be changed as well. Um, and that each object, its name and its value can be changed. Okay, and that is what YOLO does. YOLO can be programmed to like, um, if I press this button, then change the value of this. If, if I press this button, um, change the value of lamp to one. And that will indirectly... Uh, or directly change lamp's value to one over here because that button has been pressed. That that sort of that's kind of what uh, what I'm trying to get at. Um, another thing, just with button style of buttons like the, this one, the style. Um, I think it says here somewhere. Um, okay, but anyways, button style. We're gonna just use one. Um, I think that is because yeah, there we go. Because buttons or button style, it's um, like a clicker. Now it's just like a clicker. So you click on it and it will stay indented. Zero is just like a push button. You have to click and hold it in. Whereas one becomes literally a light switch now. Now we just now with the uh, little demonstration, because we changed the name over here. To, and I think in almost all buttons and everything in the game, um literally the name like battery i think no this one will be different like stored battery power whatever um but maybe this chip no that won't work but anyways with buttons the very first field name okay change that to the thing you want to manipulate for instance this was we call this one lamp okay we change this to lamp and its value is zero we change this button's name to lamp as well and its value is zero. But what we can do is we can change it from here. Okay. Uh, and if we run, no, it's not working, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, didn't it not save maybe? No, it didn't save. But anyways, so this is basically the way you can quote unquote code without using your lol it's basically just you know we directly connected this button to this lamp and the whole idea for this thing this whole exercise over here is um to showcase that these are field names and these are 
changeable or editable um, properties of the fields. And YOLO uses uh, logic and everything in order to change these fields, but we have to, or these field properties, uh, but we have to designate the field name. This is what I call a field name. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so the, now we just basically went ahead and we done this. This is what we have done. Very, very easy to do. Um, it's very simple and whatnot. So you can always, um, if you're going to design a ship or something and you like, first of all, if you want to do it with lights, you know, just go ahead, change your all your lights to lamp, its name, um, and change the buttons or a button, whatever you want, to its name is also lamp and make sure the button style is one. Then you should be should be golden. If we had a thruster right now, if I can quickly just take let's say for instance this box thruster over here. Okay. If we had this connection, this button, uh, and this um, cable connected to this thruster body, as we can see, we can change. Uh, we can cha literally go ahead and change the name of this button to thruster state. Okay, and then over here, we change it to thruster state. And then literally this button is now connected. Why don't I do that? Um, it's literally now connected or would be connected directly with each other. And what we can do is with this on value, we can make it 100. So if we press this button now, it will get the value of 100. And that means that thruster state this will also become 100, meaning this thing will be firing at 100%. Easy as that. So just to showcase to you guys like how um, you can do quote-unquote programming uh, without using YOLO and also for the upcoming videos after this one, what um, like uh, if we're going to like we're going to dive a little bit deeper with um, YOLO code and that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah. That's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me here on Starbase Yolo to tutorial. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.